Hi, this is Weekly Reflections, and I'm back. I'm Nancy Joy. Um, you know, I've been getting I've been getting some great downloads from Ezekiel lately, and one of them I really wanted to share with you um, that came through just a few days ago. There's a saying. We start out, of course, with a quote, and there's one that I just love by Rumi, and it goes like this: "You are not a drop in the ocean." You are the entire ocean in a drop. You know, and <laughs> I start out by saying people could probably write paragraphs and articles and uh, even a book <laughs> about that one saying, and yet it's totally not necessary because in our consciousness, in, in a flash, without any explanation, we understand that organically. That makes sense to us as awakened spiritual beings. Um, no need to carry on with the words because it's intrinsic. It's it's um, it's known. It's the seed within us. So that's where I wanted to take this discussion this week because uh, there's so much going on in the world, of course, a yada yada, and there's so much about to happen on the verge of happening. Most of us can feel it. We've talked about it. it's already happening on on some very profound levels. But my concern and my wonderment has always been, although I'm absolutely sure the magnificent of this new reality is is um, coming online rather quickly now, um, I'm wondering how people who are totally unconscious or not awake to this, this new shift yet, um, or even sarcastic or anti <laughs> the whole energy of it, how they are going to respond as these things happen, boom, 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 which truly in my heart, I believe they will happen rather quickly. Um, so I, I, I've been asking, and the other night Ezekiel gave me this great download. What usually happens is he, he wakes me up in the night, and I get the download, and I forget all about it, and I go back to sleep, and, and it, it comes back to me. Um, whenever I'm wondering about some of these things. So here, here's how it is. He says that um, we are, there have been times in our human evolution that very few, one or two, where we have been as a species instantly upgraded. Our DNA has been instantly upgraded. And anthropologists note this. It is true as they follow, you know, everything that there have been at least one, probably two, major upgrades in the human being that they have no explanation for, that don't follow the evolutionary path, um, that are, in a sense, instantaneous. So Ezekiel points out that what's really going on here is a, he called it a cosmic upgrade of the human DNA, the human frequency. Um, and the human consciousness, almost the human subconsciousness, um, so that he, he likened it to going in uh, some kind of a chamber and they push a start button and you're upgraded. And, and the seeds, we've talked about this before too, just like the seeds on the earth know how they're supposed to be and no matter how you try to alter them and change them, they eventually go back to their original coding. Well, that's what uh, we're, we're being... Um, uh, going into these chambers, whatever, going back to our seed, to our original coding that remembers exactly what a true human being is, how it responds, what it should do. And that is being restored to us, even though we may not be conscious of it. In fact, we really aren't. So some of us are awake, know these things are true inside of us. But people that are asleep are still living their everyday lives, not knowing maybe they have some symptoms like they can't sleep or they keep seeing the number 333 or their heart palpitates or something that, you know, to them that's that's not a deal, not a, not a big deal. And yet um, it's as if someone has pushed a button and the seed has been activated, the truth of who we really are. And as these experiences that are about to happen, whether it's extraterrestrials coming to help or um, a change in our, instantly change in our system of government or financial system or many, the Nasara, whatever thing that is going to happen here, the Basel Three compliance, <coughs> there's a lot going on. Um, it's going to uh, be coded to awaken when those things happen, this seed 
will come online and plug in. And just like the Rumi saying, where we just intrinsically know what he meant, these people are just going to, all people are just going to intrinsically know that this is the right thing. It's kind of like a walk-in experience, you know, if you know what a walk-in is. Um, another an, another um, form of yourself or possibly another soul walks into your physical body and, and you walk out, but nothing really seems to change, and yet everything has changed. So Ezekiel likened this to waking up from a dream that for, for the, especially these people that aren't tapped into all this, that it's going to be like they're waking up from a dream and, you know, they open their eyes and they go, whew, wow, glad that was a dream. <laughs> that was pretty frustrating. And, um, and then they move into their daily life in the new without thinking that this is all so unusual. So anyway, it felt, and I've read other things like this from other people. I know Sheldon Neidl, um, if you know who he is, check him out. Great stuff. Sign up for his emails. I love him. Um, but he, he, too, he, he said we're going to go into a light chamber and come out of the light chamber and we'll be shifted so the new reality won't seem so strange. Anyhow, that makes sense to me. It answers my question. I feel a lot better about it. I wanted to share it with you because I'm sure all of you have thought about it. Also, even maybe how you'll respond to some of it. And me with the emotions, you know, I wanted to know how the emotions will respond. But this upgrade will be uh, comprehensive. It will be organic. It will be physical. It will be emotional. Uh, of course, it's all spiritual, be mental. And it will all, all come together in that way. So I hope you enjoy this message this week. Um, certainly made me feel good. Who knows what's up next and what experience will, will trigger this seed to crack open and awaken, but that's exciting times, no doubt about that. Uh, one quick thing about the dolphin trip, uh, if you have any last minute people want to go on the dolphin trip, there is a June um, discount on the boat. So if you've been thinking about it, it's a good discount. Give me a call. Uh, let me know if you're interested. There's nine of us going so far, so there's still room. So that's it for now. Have a great week. We'll see you next week. Bye.